In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your TIA84 calculator to find the roots of your quadratic function. Remember, roots are just your x-intercepts. They're also called zeros, they're also called solutions, and here's how you could use your calculator to find those solutions. So we're first going to plug in a quadratic function into y equals. So I'm going to go to y equals, and I'm just going to type in like 2x squared minus, let's say, 3x, and then let's do um, minus 4, okay? So 2x squared minus 3x minus 4, we're going to graph it, and can we see where this function crosses our x-axis? We can. If you need to change your window to zoom in, you absolutely can, but we can see where this function crosses our x-axis. So we have a root here that's a negative value and we have a root here that's a positive value, so where x is positive. So let's first find this one on the left. So when I'm finding a solution, a root, using my calculator, again, we're in graph, we're in the graph, and anytime I want my calculator to calculate something while I have graphed it, I'm gonna go to this blue calc above the trace key. So it's a it's a second function, so I'm gonna press the second button first, and then I'm gonna go to trace. We're gonna tell our calculator our calculator to calculate something on our graph. We want it to calculate the zero. So that's what it is, how it's written on your calculator. So I'm gonna go to two, and I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna use the left and right arrow keys to scroll up to where I think that x-intercept is. So about right there, or if you wanted right there, that's fine. So again, I'm using the left and right arrow keys. What we need to do first is set our boundaries, okay? Boundaries, a left boundary and a right boundary. So I like to put my cursor where my guess is going to be. And then my left boundary is what I'm going to do is I can click that left boundary or that left arrow key once or twice if I wanted to. I'm going to do it once in this case, press enter, and then I'm going to go right back to where I think that x-intercept is. A lot of students want to click these up and down arrow keys. You're not going to use those whenever you're moving this cursor along your function, okay? You're moving it um, by the domain that's left and right. So now I'm going to set my right boundary. I'm going to go right. And if you wanted to, you could go, you could click your cursor again to the right. So right, enter, and then I've got my, I'm going to move it back, go left, back to where I think that x-intercept is. It's right there, and then it says guess. So now I'm going to press enter, and my calculator has calculated the zero that's the negative value. So negative 0 0.850, and then the, that's my x-intercept because that's where y is zero. So of course the y value is going to be zero. So let's calculate the other x-intercept. You know what? I need to go to second trace again. I'm going to calculate the zero. So in this, in this example, I'm going to go down. I'm going to scroll down and then press enter. You can do that or you can just press the number two. And now when I use my right arrow key, that cursor will just move along that function and it's gonna keep moving and I'm gonna get it all the way to where I think that x-intercept is. And as you can see, it's not perfect. I'm gonna make it right there, okay? I'm gonna say that's gonna be my guess or you know what, I'm gonna make it right there. Okay, so that's gonna be where my guess is. What I'm gonna do first though is set my boundaries. So I'm gonna give my calculator some boundaries so that it can be as precise as possible. In this case, I'm going to go left once, and I'm going to press enter. That's my left boundary, and then I go right back to where my guess is going to be. When I set my right boundary, I'm going to go right, press enter, and then go left back to where my guess is going to be. So obviously, I put my guess in the middle, and I set my boundaries to the left and to the right of where that guess is going to be. So now I want my calculator to guess 
where this x-intercept is or to tell me where the x-intercept is, but here's my guess. It's in between those two boundaries. And then when I press enter, there's the zero of this function. It's the x value is 2.350, and that's obviously when y equals zero. So that is how you find the x-intercepts, roots, zero solutions of a quadratic function using your TI-84 or TI-83 calculator. I hope it was helpful.